With the portfolio application, you can create and maintain your portfolio from within the workstation, taking full advantage of more than 100 available data items, all updating in real time. You can create a portfolio group, then drag the symbols from the market watch or from another workstation control into that group. Some of the main features include multiple portfolio tracking, as well as multiple group constituent tracking. The portfolio enables you to enter notes, such as the dates you bought and sold, the shares held, and share weighting for each vehicle in a given portfolio. You can actually do groups within groups. Another option is you can have actually 25 group template fields. These are template fields that are specific to group options versus the actual individual instruments, such as total cost, current market value, group profit and loss, group percent profit and loss, share weighted yield, and share weighted PE. Portfolio and symbol fields are available for symbol templates, such as total profit loss, total percent profit loss, as well as intraday profit loss. The portfolio also includes descriptive capabilities. The portfolio will also contain a dynamic currency converter for quickly checking the value of a portfolio in something other than U.S. dollar. You can actually save your portfolio on the network for retrieval later. That way if you ever have to reinstall or you just want it saved somewhere outside of your hard drive, you can do that. Okay, so with some of these key features in mind for portfolio, let's actually get back into Quote Center and we'll go ahead and show you how to insert symbols into your portfolio. So first, let's go ahead and open up a couple controls. We'll go ahead and open up Portfolio, and we'll open up MarketWatch. We'll go ahead and tile those controls so that we can see them both easily. Let's go ahead and get a list of symbols here in our MarketWatch. Okay, so one quick and easy way to get a symbol into your portfolio is simply drag and drop. You can click on the symbol you want from one control and actually drag it and release it into your portfolio. One thing to note is I do recommend creating a group before you actually insert a specific symbol. Um, once you have put a specific symbol on the first screen of portfolio, it will not allow you to insert groups later. So it's a good idea to just the very first thing, insert a group. So let's actually go ahead and show you that. We simply want to, one we can do is right click in the portfolio, go down to insert, and choose group. Code basically refers to the name of the group. We call it our auto group. Give it a slightly more descriptive name. The valuation field defaults to the last sale. These things would, these options such as multiplier, divisor, and so forth are more if you're trying to set up more of like an index or a weighted type of a list. We'll just leave it on the default values of one for now. So once you've defined a group, you can then double click to go into that group where we can see our more descriptive name and we can now begin inserting 
relevant symbols, and you do need to type them in. Or we did show you the, the drag and drop method as well. For now, we'll just go ahead and type them. One thing to note, when you drag and drop, it doesn't fill in notes, shares, and all that other information. So typically, if you do drag and drop, you will need to actually edit the symbol. So let's go ahead and just show you an example of that. Apple, of course, not being automotive, doesn't really apply. But just to show you an example here, after you drag and drop, you can then right-click on the symbol and choose Edit for that symbol. And then you can fill in the additional information, such as how many shares you purchased and so forth, how much you paid per share. So to show you back to the insert method, we'll go ahead and insert symbol, type in the symbol you want, how many shares you purchased and what cost you paid. It's probably completely off from what GM's trading at, but that's okay. And you can simply continue to insert symbol, insert symbol into this into this specific group. If you want to get back up one level, just simply right click in the portfolio. And you can either choose up one level just to move up one if you had several subgroups defined. Or you can just say up to the top level to get to the very top, at which you can insert new groups as well. So there's an example of getting several groups. You can see how on the group level you actually have different fields available, such as total market value, and you can actually modify these as well by right-clicking, going down to Template, and in this case we want to edit the group template because we're referring to the group fields. And we have various group-specific fields that we can add from the left-hand side over to the right-hand side, and you can also take fields away by highlighting them and hitting the left arrow. So you do have some flexibility on which fields you're displaying, and the order pretty much has to be controlled by editing the group and changing the order in here. You just simply click on the one you want and then drag it to its position where you want it to be and then click OK. Within a group, you can also insert totals. So if we go back here, let's add another symbol really quick. Okay, so we have a couple here. So if we wanted to then total up the securities, there is an option for that as well. You just right-click in the portfolio, choose Insert, and go to Totals. And basically, it will total up everything within this group onto a total column. And that will reflect for all the different fields going down. One thing you may notice, by default, I don't believe the horizontal scroll bar is enabled. So if you have quite a number of fields here, uh, one, one thing you may want to adjust initially, right click on your um, portfolio control, go to properties, then portfolio. Go to the display tab. I personally like the grid as well. And we'll go ahead and enable that horizontal scroll bar so that we can more easily get to our other fields of information.
Okay, just to show you some of the final options here before we wrap this up. You can also either delete groups or delete individual symbols. As you can see, if you're on a group level and you right click, you can delete the entire group. So that option depends on what you right click on. When. Delete tech, as you can see, I right clicked on tech. And by the same token, so the display, the option for deleting will always dynamically change to whatever you're right clicking on. And that pretty much should be all that we're going to go over today. At this point, you should be at least somewhat familiar with the container as a whole and all its options, as well as some of what you can accomplish within the portfolio. And if you ever do have any additional questions or concerns, definitely feel free to contact us at our main support during our normal business.